Good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody had an awesome Thursday. Today is March 3rd. And no time. Mm, how does it break up? Long time no speak. I have not been vlogging lately because, first of all, I haven't had much to vlog about and I've been super busy with stuff. And even today, I've had a very eventful morning. But I figured I would take take y'all with me on my trip that I'm going on. I am visiting Madison, Wisconsin for a conference. And I said, you know what? If I don't update this YouTube channel, people gonna think I'm just like done. And I'm not done, just busy. But come along with me. Y'all are going to have to get a view of the oatmeal over a view of me, but oh my goodness. So here's what happened, right? So I was supposed to get, I was supposed to be taking a flight from Champaign to O'Hare and then from O'Hare to Madison. So tell me why I get a notification at like nine something and I'm knocked out sleep because I'm just tired. But anyways, I get a notification and they're like, yeah, your flight was canceled. It's like, you can't get on it. And I was like, what the heck? So I'm calling American Airlines, waiting on hold forever. And they're like, you know, cause I'm just trying to see, I'm trying to see if I could get back on that second flight, the one that I was on. And the one lady said that she couldn't rebook me on that. So I called up again and waited on hold longer to see if somebody else could rebook me on it. And nobody could rebook me on it because the uh, second flight had filled up. So it's kind of like, dang, thanks American Airlines. But anyways, uh, me and the guy who, you know, made my travel arrangements there, uh, shout out to him. Thank you so much. Because I will be bussing up to Madison. I'm still coming. <laughs> And my bus leaves at 10.33 and I have to get to the location at 10.28 and it's currently 9.51. So I'm trying to figure out, man, what about eating arrangements? I got an apple, a shriveled up apple that I'm bringing. I guess I do better hurry and eat these apples. Applesauce and blueberries. All right, that snack is a bunch of fruit. <sighs> if I could just eat this oatmeal before I leave, that'll be perfect. Okay, so I have to leave in like 15 minutes, but I purchased this taco dip yesterday from Tarjay. Uh, I just looked at it and I said, oh yeah, that looks really, really good. I'm trying to eat healthier, so mm, 45 calories, That's, that won't throw me too far off of it. But yeah, we about to try some of this and then I gotta get the heck about here. American Airlines canceling my flight. You always think it won't be you until it's you. And this stuff has a consistency to it. It's, oh man, I feel like I'm about to spill it. It's really watery. I'm not sure if y'all can kind of see that. And why do I have a gut feeling that I could just make this myself? But anyways. Mm. It's really good. It tastes like sour cream mixed with like salsa or something. And it has a little kick to it. J just a tad, just a tiny little kick. And it's good. Mm. Looking at the clock. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I could definitely sit here and eat this whole thing. So I'm not going to do that. I got an email. Okay, nope. That's, that has nothing to do with my trip. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, so I'm walking up the street to catch this bus. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. When I sent my initial email to that guy, I was kind of like, thanks for inviting me out, we tried. But then I was like, wait a second, I think I have an idea. <laughs> oh, and we, I still made it. Whew. I'm gonna be able to make it. That bag is mighty heavy for a couple of day trip. I usually don't overpack, but we are here and I'm the only one here, so really good. I don't know. 
it's looking McDonald's. Maybe a small cheeseburger and a fry and a water. <laughs> Hopefully that won't detour me too far off my plan. cheeseburger and I just had a small fry as well that I pretty much inhaled but this looks like so good I haven't had McDonald's in a while we bought a grub so I ended up ordering a McFlurry this is the Oreo like shamrock whatever McFlurry and it tastes really good and the awesome thing about being like in the freezing cold Chicago weather is it's not melting I can keep it right there while I wait for this bus Okay, so I made it to Madison, Wisconsin in one piece and I made it into my room. So, let's do a hotel room tour. I have to get ready for dinner in like 30 minutes. Well, actually dinner is in 30 minutes, but this is uh, where you come in and we got a door. Hi, didn't even take off my coat. Got a door right here. Let's make sure there's no bodies up in here. Alrighty. Ooh, extra pillows. Wait, do I need extra pillows? I sure do. I'm gonna need the extra pillows. Let me just, yeah, I'll, I'll grab that later. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It's what we're looking like here, and a nice shower. I'm looking forward to taking a hot shower tonight. Hot, steamy. Let's look at, okay, we, we looking clean, no mold or anything, or just, just eyeball it, you know, because these hotels don't be clean. All right, so. Coming in here, we got a TV. Let's see any bodies in the... I'm actually really glad I'm in this room by myself. I was kind of concerned. I was like, am I gonna have a roommate? <laughs> I feel like if I would have had a roommate, they would have said something to me, but they didn't say anything to me, so it's like no roommate. Fridge right here. Cool. They gave me a free cookie. This is a chocolate chip walnut cookie. Like how nice of them. I'm just being spoiled. Gosh, something else over here. <gasps> now, what are you doing hidden down here like this? Uh, the poor coffee machine. We're going to have to get you out of there. But uh, got my desk right here. I wish I could just take this desk with me back to Illinois. What's this? Please aim your cell phone camera. Room service menu. Ooh, you know what? Might not mind that at all. Just like, later on. Uh, okay. What's in here? Okay, just nothing at all. I wasn't sure if there was something good in there. Big seat that I could sprawl out on. And my bed, oh yes. These are my receipts, I have to make sure I hang on to these. You know what, it'll be nice to put them over here with the desk. And yes, this is my room. This is where I'll be for a couple of nights while I'm here for the conference. Really, really looking forward to it. I'm literally turning on every room, blah, blah. I'm turning on every light in this room so I can stay awake and not get tired because I don't want to get tired just yet. But uh, there is a, I think I've mentioned this about three times, a dinner <laughs> going on at 6.30. They said we're meeting up to just like socialize. I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I'll like meet up at 6.45 so I won't have to socialize as much. But who knows? And uh, they sent out a menu like earlier talking about what everybody wants. And I was trying to be healthy and I put down the grilled chicken. But you know what I really wanted? That bacon mac and cheese. Oh gosh. Whew, jeez. But anyways, but anyways, I'm so happy to be here. But let me go ahead and put on my, uh, my dinner clothes because it's not, it's not this. Don't y'all worry. I went and I bought those Clorox wipes and we are wiping down. Uh -uh. Don't worry. 
Y'all thought I wasn't going to do this. I'm doing it. Move the cookie. I am doing it. Mm -mm -mm. I've already seen the TikTok, the documentary, the YouTube videos, the everything. Oh, that's really dirty. I already know. I'm doing it. See? I can move you all over to the side a little bit. I am doing it. I'm just going to wipe down the whole... Well, I guess I don't need to deep clean the room, just the areas I'm touching, but... You know, we just gonna clean up real quick and then I'll get ready for dinner. Okay, so I am home. I had a wonderful dinner and I thought I was being healthy getting the, uh, the grilled chicken, but tell me why that grilled chicken had pesto and mozzarella cheese like slathered on it. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is so good, but so unhealthy. So that was really good. And then afterward, like my group and I just took a drive around Madison, Wisconsin, and I got some pretty good shots of the uh, Capitol building. And I learned a couple of fun facts. That thing up on the top, uh, that's made of pure gold. And the whole um, the whole building itself is modeled after the Washington, D.C. Capitol. And I'm seeing a crack on the ceiling. I'm just looking at it. I, I don't think I need to be concerned about that. These are popcorn ceilings anyway. But uh, yeah, I had a blast. And tomorrow's the actual like conference day. So that should be fun. But y'all, look at what I got here. Look at what I got here. Crumble cookies for those of y'all who don't know what this is. These are like it's like a cookie restaurant, but the cookies are cakes It's like look at this Like that's a cookie in a literal sense, but that's a cake and I was already like licking it <laughs> But we're going to try this right now. All right. I took a shower. That's why I look like this Woo! Jeez, I'm gonna have to eat this over the course of three days cuz man, this is the uh the Oreo birthday cake flavor. Let's try. Mm. Mm. That's so good. But that is so sweet. And I think my sweet tooth is changing. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. I had that shamrock thing earlier. And I had to throw half of that out. My kidneys were yelling at me. I might not be able to finish this. Mm. But it is really, really good. But yeah, that concludes day one. I'm about to sit here and look at TikToks for a few hours and then go to bed. And then I will talk to y'all tomorrow. All right, so this is day two. I promise I'm right here. I just look like garbage. Hoping and praying that I could just take this bed with me when I leave. I know that's not going to work. But I'm sitting here watching the... Weather Channel. That's what she is. I love the Weather Channel. Then I'm about to go to that machine right there. And actually, I didn't really get to see the view last night, so let's go look at the view. I just want to let y'all know that I was sitting here making coffee and I forgot to put the coffee packet in. Now that's a good sign. That's how you know I need the coffee. But we got coffee bean and tea leaf. I've never tried this before. Regular. That's more than likely what I'm going to try. I just watched uh, Good Mythical Morning and they were doing a test with this. So I'm excited. I think they preferred, I think they preferred this. It was this versus Starbucks. Like overall they preferred that one. That was interesting to me. And this must be decaf. <laughs> we don't believe in that. Alrighty, let me let me do this the right way. I'm just letting y'all know that coffee creamer was staring me right in my face, but I built up some nerve to call down to the front desk for some coffee creamer. That's the sign that I need this coffee. Okay, so it is a little bit past 8:30, and I'm getting ready to head downstairs to go to the um, this conference that is up the street at Villas Hall, and honestly. It's so close. Maybe I'll just walk. Well, no, I agreed to meet the group down there. Yeah, I agreed to. Okay, so this is a um, like a communication students conference, and they're going to be talking about their research, and it's some sort of panel and things like that. All I know is they're feeding us, so I'm looking forward to breakfast when I get there because the only thing I had so far was coffee and applesauce, and usually I'm uh, fasting for the whole morning, but I'm breaking that this weekend because I'm traveling, so... Looking forward to it, looking forward to the whole conference. And there is one, um, I guess it's, are these like individual panels or is it like, 
I guess I'll just call it a panel. It's one panel that I'm really looking forward to because it's dealing with the police. Really, it's two panels I'm looking forward to because they're dealing with the police. I just want to hear what people are saying. But yeah, now I'm headed downstairs. There it goes. That's cute. It's, look at it. It's making directions. <laughs> so he delivers food? Yes, he's so cute. Oh, he's making a little turn. He's waiting across the street. I'm so amazed by the little robot. <laughs> and look, everybody else is just ignoring him. And I'm like, I know, I'm, I'm so amazed. I see everything in conspiracy clips. <laughs> Like but I was oh, going to record that protest. <laughs> about the robot. Something about like stop oil, stop toxic oil. Yeah. But that little robot just stole the show. Hello. So I am walking around campus. Uh, my social battery was dying after that uh, event we were having. So I just left and I'm walking around, uh, currently walking up a hill. And it's kind of like, oh, imagine walking this every day. But um, I really enjoyed this week, and it's a shame that it's over tomorrow. Like tomorrow, I leave. But y'all, this hill. Oh Lord, that hill. Oh my gosh, and we're not even to the top yet. Man, this is working the legs. I'm almost to my destination, uh, Bascom Hall, and then I'm gonna stand right up here and turn around and look at my view. We'll do it together. All right, they got the sidewalk closed for winter. That's something different, but okay. I am here, it is cold, and that is, oh, nice view. It's a pretty campus. And it's so much less flat than Illinois. But okay, this is nice. I'm gonna take pics. I'm sitting in the law building right now because American Airlines was not doing it for me this weekend. They were not doing it. I had flights canceled. Like only the first flight was canceled, but they removed like my whole itinerary and it was a whole thing. That's why I'm like even shocked that I'm here right now because I was like, I don't know if this weekend is happening. And if I can't vlog this weekend, man, who knows when I'm gonna get a vlog. But yeah, uh, this is a mess and I don't think I'm gonna fly American ever again even though this lady's really nice but <sighs> you know what I'll just think about like stuff that makes me happy this doesn't make me happy but the food we had this weekend makes me happy Mediterranean food for lunch like they couldn't have done that any better the nachos for dinner oh, that was just so good and hotel breakfast tomorrow. Room service. All right, and I'm just checking. Okay, so my flight has worked out. Uh, shout out to American Airlines. Uh, that one nice lady made things better. That doesn't mean I'm rating the whole airline good. Okay, because it really inconvenienced me this time. But you know what? I'm still grateful that I got it worked out for tomorrow. And I'm grateful that I was able to come this weekend. So, that's all that matters. But now I'm walking back to my hotel. Uh, I'm gonna walk around campus a little bit more, just kind of taking the vibes. It's freezing out here, but you know, why not? I like walking around and comparing it to Illinois. <laughs> There's so much to compare. When I get back to the hotel, oh my gosh, hot shower, hot. And I'm not against going to bed early, I don't know. I don't know. Holy crap, I don't want to look like a tourist, but this is the biggest gym I have ever seen. Wow. This ain't this ain't the Ark anymore. And that little Salisbury gym, oh my gosh. And there go another football. I can't get enough of them. Oh, you zoom in. You are so sick and cute. Like, wow. I like this campus a lot. Okay, so I just ordered a little late dinner. Uh, I got this flatbread. And do y'all think that's enough uh, arugula? I think they, they could have put a little more on there. All right, bonnet is on, retainer is in. That pizza was nasty. And we are ending the night with uh, Big Ten basketball. This is Nebraska and Iowa. So, well, I guess somebody else is playing next, but. This is how we're ending day two. 
Good morning, everyone. Today is day three, and I still have my morning face on. So you cannot see my face, but these blackout curtains. This is what I got to invest in. This right here, because this is beautiful. But so is this. How awesome are these blackout curtains? There we go. Ow, I hit myself in the face with this. Yep, I leave campus today. I really enjoyed my stay. Um, I think I'm gonna walk around a little bit this morning before my flight. But other than that, I'm back to Illinois. Y'all, it's on the news right now. I think it's getting ready to go off. Look at how high gas is. Holy crap. Six dollars, seven dollars if you round it up. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, shout out to Wisconsin again for inviting me out for Communications Crossroads. I was, this was an awesome event. I loved hearing everybody's research and it really helped me like, because I defend my thesis next month. So it helped me kind of see how presenting goes and how I could set up my slides and you know that it's okay for me to say, I don't know. But my favorite research, uh, by far is health and science communication and this research was really interesting they were basically doing a study on like if you have a female doctor versus a male doctor like how the public will perceive each person and i'm like really really narrowing that down <laughs> uh let's see misperceptions of course because my thesis is on deception this really stuck out to me mm, let's see that one was the first one we did Oh yeah, so like since the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, how uh, people have been reacting towards uh, Chinese folks. I think that was the gist of hers. Let me see anybody down here. I remember everybody's, but it's kind of like, which one was my favorite? Elaine, she's an awesome presenter. Like, wow. The Miles of Magnolia Street was so interesting. Yeah, and so was the uh, the critical analysis of the of like mayors, like what they're saying, uh, reacting to the, you know, the police brutality. Just so interesting, it's amazing, like all you can do is research. It's like, wow. It's like, I wanna come back. <laughs> I do, I really do wanna come back. I wanna go to another conference. <laughs> Room service, I, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's see what I ordered here. Some pancakes, you better believe. Okay, okay, wait, I will put that there. All right, it probably would have made more sense to put this on that desk, but no, we're going to do it here. And what's this? Scrambled eggs. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? They did really good on the pancake, so we're just going to focus on that. <laughs> I'm about to grub. Look at these cute little salt and pepper shakers. Oh my gosh, this could fit in my bag. I could take these with me. I really could. I'm, I'm leaning toward it. They're too stinking cute. Okay, so this breakfast was really good. Much better than that fig pizza last night. Like, ugh. But um, it is almost 9 a.m. I really like how I've shifted to becoming an early bird. Like, I used to be a night owl, but now I'm an early bird. I like, I like how I'm up early. Like, I just like how I'm not asleep. But I'm going to go make a coffee from that machine, and then I'm going to... Walk around campus one last time. There's an art museum that uh, somebody pointed out to me that's free. And I love art museums and I like free. So I'm going to go check that out. And I want to go check out the union. Because these students pay $726 a semester in fees. And it goes toward the bus. And then it also goes toward the union. So it's kind of like, let me go check out this union to see if it's worth $700. And it's two of them. They have two unions. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go check that out. Um, and then come back here and get, get ready to go. The My flight leaves at 3.15, hoping and praying that American Airlines doesn't continue to screw me over. And the airport's pretty small, so I don't think, it's not like O'Hare, I don't gotta get there like two hours before. I may try to get there an hour before and just hoping and praying. Oh, cause there's a wind advisory too for uh, Illinois. And it's just, I don't, getting stranded here and getting stranded in O'Hare are two different things. Can we just, can we not? But the coffee machine is calling me. Well, it looks like the rain has just magically disappeared. And yeah, I'm so proud of myself because I made it back out to the Union, uh, Memorial Union, 
I made it back out here by myself. See, here's the lake. And uh, this campus is really cute. Uh, Illinois does not have a lake. And Illinois has other nice things, but it doesn't have this. I don't know, you know, do y'all ever just visit other cities and other campuses and you're just like, huh, my place doesn't have this. <laughs> so I gotta kind of think of like, Illinois has, Illinois is very flat. Uh, you know, my thighs and uh, hamstrings aren't bleeding, you know, walking to campus, you know, that that's the thing. <sighs> On like a nice day when the lake ain't frozen. Ooh, this is probably gonna be so pretty. It's only three hours from Illinois too. I may come back out here. But let's go into these unions and let's just see like, do we consider this worth $800? This is what it looks like. It's really, really cute. I'm not sure if I told y'all this yesterday, but the union sells beer in there. I thought that was cool. They got a little store where they sell ice cream that I don't need. A big old thing of snow right here. Am I stepping on this? My, I think I could. I, I am, okay. Brett stand. Hmm. Well, my gosh, I almost slipped. Okay, so let me not look at the Brett stand. Let me look at where I'm going. I'm reading about the history of uh, the German Union. That's what I'm gonna call it because I can't pronounce that. It says, uh uh, you're gonna drink alcohol, you better be 21 and older. And check this out. Is that what I think it is? Is that, is that what I think it is? That's what I like to see. Hope they were treating him right. But wow. I wonder if this school was segregated. I gotta look that up. So I was learning about the Wisconsin Hoofers, Hoofers, and they have like all these outdoor clubs. So cool. And now I'm just making my way down the hall. I don't even know where I'm going. Hope a monster don't pop. Oh, that's dark. Look at how dark this is. That's creepy. Oh Lord. It's like it's sensing I'm here. That's cool. This whole area is dedicated to the Hoofers. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm saying Hoofers, Huffers. Yo, this is so cool. Lake rentals this way. The outdoor club, like where I'm from, could never. They got a whole thing. Awesome. Okay, so I just left out of the union. Oh, this is so pretty. I love architecture. Uh, and uh, I didn't want to record it because there was people sitting in there and I didn't want to record them, but y'all, yeah, one of the little lounge areas, one of like 12 that I saw, <laughs> Uh, had a freaking fire pit in there. A fire pit. Like, and we not even done. They have two unions here. So I'm going to go check out the other one. Mm. Wow. I'm impressed. And that was just like the first floor. Yesterday I was up on another floor for an event. But that's all the exploring of this union I'm going to do. Because I really do want to squeeze in the other one. Let's go check it out. Did I tell y'all that this building is one of the oldest buildings on campus? Somebody told me that yesterday. Don't think I'm some tour guide all of a sudden. I cannot remember for the life of me if I told y'all that. The science hall, I bet it's so cute in there. And uh, when I said, ooh, architecture, I was talking about this. Like that's what I said was cute. Like I love this, but okay, let's get to the second union. So I'm continuing to walk around campus. I think the union that I'm going to is up this street. But I'm just looking at the business school like, yeah, yeah, they get all the funding. They get all the endowment. They do. Because my building, that communications building back there, complicated architectural design, but you know what? It's okay. I still went, I was still able to get to the conference. Huh? <sighs> it's a nice day out here. I found the second union. It's all the way across campus, but I found it. And I have to pee and I feel like I'm mighty far from my hotel but that is totally okay and what's that tiny little house look at that tiny little house just sitting there train tracks okay that reminds me of Illinois alrighty let's check this out oh Wisconsin Union Hotel okay they got the hotel over here 
That's neat. All right, so I just left my Union Adventures. I really, really enjoyed them. Really nice unions. I'm still a little funny about the $800, but maybe the students make that worth their money. Uh, they even had like nice fresh masks that they were giving out at the front desk. So I just grabbed a few of those and it's nice. But now I'm headed back to the hotel. I'm trying to see if I can make it back there without relying on directions. I think that is a possibility. Okay, so I just saw some other people who were recording the little robots. I just like how I'm not the only one who's totally amazed by them. But I wanted to go into this gym to like look around, but it's like a lady at the front desk, so I doubt they're gonna just let me look around. Cause you know, you usually have to swipe your card to get in. But I am standing in front of the Cole Center. I wanna see if they'll let me in. Cause I wanna see the stadium, like the basketball stadium. The football stadium I'm assuming is somewhere over yonder but after this i'm going back to the hotel because it is a uh, it's almost noon and by like 1 30 i wanted to be on the shuttle back to the airport so yeah i'll have to leave that'll be enough of pretending i'm a wisconsin student all right so i'm back in the hotel room and i got five guys for my lunch just diet slash healthy eating plan went out the window this weekend but you know what that is fine and there's a mirror right there yep so i can just stare at myself eating wonderful but uh after this i catch a flight at 1 30 which is in about an hour so well no i catch the shuttle to the airport in an hour the flight's at 3 15. and one of my girlfriends i met her sit, uh sitting outside of the airport she said she catching that shuttle now i'm like oh look at you getting there early not me I'm about to eat <sighs> oh man oh oh yes yes I haven't had five guys in so long. It's gonna throw me so over my calorie limit. It's okay. We're on vacation. it is the next morning and my hair is taken out washed as it should be <laughs> but um I had a pretty awesome weekend this weekend I love the conference that was kind of my that that couldn't have been my first conference like that but the first one I can really think of but nonetheless I really really enjoyed myself but it's back to work it's back to my healthy eating it's back to writing up this thesis it's just Back to what I gotta do. I'm sitting over there doing some RA work right now. So after I put my deep conditioner on and put the uh, plastic bag on top of my head, we gonna get back to work. But yes, always thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up, and I will talk to y'all in a few weeks. Bye. -bye.